Hello everyone, I know I've been very very quiet over the past few weeks in terms of vlogs However, we have been working on something that I have been excited for over the past couple months Now this is a thing that I'm passionate about obviously social media marketing and community management growing I guess that's my career in my life right now But I want to take that venture into a more serious thing and into my own thing and now today I'm introducing Ward Social. Now, Ward Social is a social media marketing and community specialist that specialize in social media management and building your audience, building businesses' audience, generates leads to your website, to your businesses through the art of organic social media management and creative content and creative copy indeed. So if you're a business watching this right now and you need social media marketing and community management and growing your audience, managing your socials for you so you don't have to, and creating content for you indeed regularly, then please let us know. Wardsocial.co.uk, we are building this brand from zero upwards as any brand. Let me know what you think about this down in the comments down below. Now, I don't know what to have for lunch whilst my suit is coming. There's nothing in the fridge. I just don't know what to do. So, what do I do? Because I am hungry. There's nothing in here, except from some really dodgy garlic mayo, which is not the one. I don't really want that. There's nothing, absolutely nothing. And there are some toffee stuff, which I don't know why we got that in there, but anyway. Great, it's sunny and it's raining. Lovely, I was gonna walk to the shop and maybe get something, but that isn't happening now. Where is my cat? That's what I wanna know. Where is he? He's over here somewhere. Lift this up. Hello, hello, hello there. Are you good boy? No. <laughs> anyway, see you later. Have a good day. Oh. Just ordered a McDonald's on Uber Eats. Obviously, it's got to be done. It's coming. It's heading my way. Oh, you're right. Yeah, good, thanks. Yeah. Good. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Have a good day. I got the goods. Oh shit, it's leaking. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. So I got the package, but I had to change it into a glass because it leaked everywhere. We got the nuggets. We got the nuggets. Plain double cheeseburger. That's what I'm talking about. We got the chips. Is that sometimes you have really good like hot hot food and it's not soggy and sometimes you have cold rubbery chips that just tastes like they've been microwaved disappointing two games two losses and it's not looking good for Jesse Marsh. Now, there is a lot of speculation that he may get fired if we do not win the next game. And now the next game is on Sunday at Fulham. So we will see. Will he be fit? Will he be on form? Will the team be on form? I think the team is not helping the manager at the moment. I can see his tactics. I can see the way he is performing. But when it comes down to these press conferences, post-match, pre-match, whatever it may be, whatever he is planning is not working, especially in the training ground. So let me know what you think about those thoughts down in the comments down below. How do you think we matched up against Arsenal? Obviously, we played really, really well. We should have won that game. Uh, and we should have won yesterday's game. The fact that Robin Koch made so many mistakes. We should have won the Leicester game, the fact that Robin Cock made so many mistakes. I do feel for him because it was going to be a goal anyway. The tapping was there, but he unfortunately conceded. Either way, it would be a goal, so I'm not going to sort of deny him that. But other things like Mark Roker gave the the goal, the, the ball away many times. Junior Furpo came on. Yes, he's been injured. I give him the benefit of the doubt, but that on that right side or left side he was playing, atrocious. There was so many opportunities where he could have passed it or other players could have. Same with Diego Llorente. There were the three main culprits, I think, for the defence, obviously, is Diego Llorente, Firpo. I don't know why Jack didn't start. I don't know why Willy Onto weren't on the pitch. So that is my thoughts of 
those two games I think not very good uh, in terms of performance Arsenal was a great performance Bamford I think his confidence has lost unfortunately yes he's a good player but is he out of his time now is he a Premier League player the boat is rocking. Would you want to see Junior Firpo leave? Would you want him to stay? Personally, I'd want him to stay, but maybe go down to the under-21s just to get some more experience. He shouldn't have just jumped straight back in to the main squad when Willy Onto has been working hard and he should be in the, in the squad regardless. He was benched. I don't know why we didn't play him. We moved the team around. I just don't understand it. So if there's any other tactics you think should play this weekend, then please, please do let me know. And if you need any social media marketing and community management on your socials, businesses, then please do let me know. Head over to wardsocial.co.uk. We manage a lot of brands. We've managed a lot of brands, I should say. And now we're building the roster and trying to build the clientele out from there. Bit of an announcement. There's two projects obviously going on as well. Obviously, as I mentioned Award Social. And now I'm mentioning my new, new channel. It's a little bit different to this one. Obviously, it's just solely focused on football and vlogs and, and, and my life. And now we're focusing on Will Reacts. Now, this channel will be literally just reacting videos to random videos online. And hopefully it entertains you. If you want to go subscribe, you can go in the channel section on my channel, click subscribe. Hopefully I can get a video out every single week. Um, and then if we can start getting the editing quicker, doing that process and pushing them out maybe every couple of days and see what happens. If you'd enjoy this vlog, thank you very much. And I'll see you guys in another video. See you later.